patterns. These are the patterns that we have printed in our practice session 15. And in this session, we will print number patterns like this. Hello everyone, welcome to Python practice series. Listen, practicing Python helps you to clear your concept. But these pattern examples help you to build logical skills. Apart from this, these examples help to understand the uses of loops in complex programming. So please focus over here and try to understand how to print patterns. First, we will start with this simple example. Here, we want to print 4 rows and each line publishes a unique number and with every new line, the number of values is increased. So, let's start coding. First, write a for loop with r as a counter with initial value as 1 and max value as 5. Now, inside this for loop, write one more for loop with c as the counter. This inner loop will start from 1 and will go till r plus 1. I will explain the reason for r plus 1. Just wait for a moment. Inside the indent of second for loop, print the value of r with n character as space. Then a blank print statement. So basically what we have done, here the counter r and c represents rows and columns. When the program starts, the value of r is 1. Now the program enters the inner loop. The second loop depends on r because the max range is r plus 1. In the first iteration, the inner loop's max range is r plus 1 and the value of r is 1. So the loop will run only one time, 1, 2, 2. During its first time, it will print the value of r that is 1. Then this blank print statement prints the next line. Well, our first line is ready. In the second iteration, the value of r becomes 2. Hence, the inner loop will run two times. It will also print r that is 2. Then the print statement to print the next line. In the third iteration, the value of r will become 3. And the inner loop will print 3, 3 times. I hope you understood this iteration and how the loop will work. Let's run the code. See, you got the perfect output. Now suppose you want to print this pattern. It's almost the same except for the numbers in each line. In the last example, we printed the same number in a line. But here, we have the sequence in each line starting from 1. To handle this, we will change our inner loop to print the value of c instead of r. Open the source code again. And in the print statement of the second loop, change the variable to c instead of r. Let's run the code. Well, we got the expected output. I hope you understood how to print the number patterns in Python. If you want to practice more, try this example. It's almost the same, but require a slight twist. Again, thanks for watching and see you on next Saturday with new practice example. Please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any practice video in future.